Hi everyone, we're on the first day of the week, Monday. So I'm going to do a card, take three cards from the Wondering Star Tarot and I'll also choose three from the Destiny Pack as well. There's some extra guidance. So I'm setting the intention for a reading for the highest and greatest God for the collective or anyone who views this video. I'm asking now. There we go. The Wheel of Fortune. The Hermit. The Page of Cups. So the Wheel of Fortune. This is a change wonderful change things moving now in the right direction in a positive direction as we have took responsibility and we have focused on in which direction that we wish to move this is a beautiful card of change of opportunity of prosperity so things now are starting to change for the better. The Hermit asking us to go within. The change begins within us. We can feel that beautiful change as we start to feel love, as we start to choose an empowerment, courage, that those feelings inside us go out and create those wonderful realities in our life so that hermit is saying go within listen to your divine light within allow it to guide you it will light your it will light your path don't look on the outside go within and allow the wheel of fortune this beautiful energy that's stirring now this full moon was so powerful and it activated our kundalini so we've had an activation of the kundalini emergence of the divine masculine the divine feminine lots of heart activations so feeling that now as we've lightened the lord within our hearts the sun has shone within our heart centers and dissolved blocks dissolved armoring so that we are now seeing clearly we are rising in our vibration and going within listening to our thoughts our dialogue our emotions feeling what is coming up for releasing and allowing it just breathe through and as we breathe through and let go the wheel of fortune within us is turning and changing and then we have the page of cups new beginnings and this is love you can see the cup there she's coming with the cup with the fish which signifies wisdom spiritual wisdom but also romance the energy there is definitely love in the air and the page is a new beginning and it's not to say it's a new relationship it's just that we see something new and wonderful in that relationship that adds another dimension to it and, and takes us deeper into the love there. So we are starting to see through the illusion into the pureness of love and this is just the beginning. This is going to grow and grow as we look and tend to our inner environment opening up this is a wonderful card of fun of magic bringing divine magic in our life listening and, and using our positive energy and sending it into different areas of our lives making sure it's pure and it's positive making sure it's pure love when we're sending it to someone making sure the healing is pure it's not in it's not tinged with fear just holding the light taking ourselves out of the way and allow the light to just flow through us into every area of our life bringing beautiful beautiful healing love upliftment and divine magic 
and the base of the pack is the Queen of Pentacles. The Queen of Pentacles is loyal, charming, loving. She makes the most of everything around her. She sat there in that beautiful with that beautiful throne, holding a pentacle. She's holding it. She is not going out chasing it. She's not worrying about anything in the outside world. She sat there comfortable. She has a blue dress which is signifies calmness and connection to spirit. I'm feeling so much peace from this card. And where this peace there is prosperity. True prosperity comes from peace. It doesn't come from stress. It doesn't come from worrying about our finances or our health. It comes from peace. And she sat there so peacefully. And she is wise. She's traveled through all the suits to become the Queen of Pentacles. This is the material she started to manifest in the material world now. So this is us, things started to change, seeing the beautiful transformation that's occurring all around us, looking for the positives everywhere. And as we do, whatever we focus on expands. And this is what the Queen of Pentacles does. She draws to her her beautiful wishes through her energy, through her vibration, through her wisdom and her magic. It's a wonderful time of anchoring and focusing on and really being in gratitude. Gratitude for everything that we have. Doesn't matter how small or how less, being grateful. Because when we step into not being grateful, we lose everything. When we start taking things for granted, things go away. So this is a reminder to go in, feel gratitude for being here, feel gratitude putting a smile in every cell within our body and allowing our body to actually fill with joy. There's only us that can do this. No one else can do it for us. No one can make us happy out there. It has to come from within, taking the blinkers off, seeing the beauty of life. And then we have the sun underneath this. So the sun, full moon in Leo, shining in our heart there, asking us to see with love, to speak from love. The beautiful energy of the sun from their head, bringing light, bringing enlightenment, bringing divine intelligence, bringing positive uplifting energy. So what a beautiful, beautiful reading. The cards are speaking to us, telling us things are shifting now within us. We can feel the energy shifting within us. What used to concern us or upset us no longer does. It really doesn't. And as we're moving and shifting from all that, everything is starting to move in unison with our energy, with what is emanating from within us. We're co-creating. So the sun is shining now. Open up, feel the effects and breathe the sun today. Even if you can't see it, just visualize it, breathing it into your heart and feel it dissolving anything, even if we're not seeing it to dissolve anything that's there, giving permission for anything that is blocking our heart centers, that is blocking our connection from heaven to earth, whatever is blocking us there, whatever we are going in, into resistance from joy, to please 
cleanse it now. The spiritual sun is shining down on us. It's activating us. It's bringing in divine intelligence. And it is attuning us to unconditional love. So wonderful reading today. So I'm asking now for a message from the Destiny Pack for the highest and greatest God for the collective or anyone who views this video asking for a card for underneath the wheel of fortune we have the ring so the relationship with ourselves the relationship with everyone and I just feel love in the air there's such a beautiful energy of love and as we feel it we draw it to it if we think it's never going to happen if we are impatient for it then we've gone into resistance we we're blocking so when we feel that oneness within we come into alignment to connect with our soulmates with with our true loves so beautiful energy so the wheel of a fortune turning and changing in a positive way within our relationships, with ourselves, with each other, with our loved ones. I'm asking for a message for underneath the hermit. What do we need to know? What is the hermit? What is the message of the hermit? New beginnings, the start, bringing life there, so where it's been barren, where we have chased on the outside world till we have no energy, till we are mentally and emotionally exhausted, we have started to place the energy there instead. And we have started to cultivate within that is bringing fertile, soil within us to plant seeds so something awakening within us something new something wonderful coming into alignment a remembrance of who we are so the stock is bringing us good luck so underneath the page of cups please bring a message for underneath the page of for the highest and greatest good. The knight in shining armour, things starting to shift. We move now within our love life, within our life bringing joy. So again, any stuck energy, this is the beginning of something beautiful. And the green on this card is the heart chakra to go with the page so coming in through the page all the way up to that beautiful maturity of the king so the king of cups so some learning but beautiful energy of spiritual guidance of knowing that that this that there's a powerful connection between you and a loved one a someone in your life but things starting to shift now. And for underneath the Queen of Pentacles, asking for a message for underneath the Queen of Pentacles. What has she, what message is she bringing through for us today? Queen of Pentacles. Happiness after sadness. Getting well. This is a card of recovery as well. And she's the pentacle, she's all about our health, our well-being. As we, as we create that beautiful space in our minds, it creates a wonderful environment within, creating healing. So this is a time of happiness after sadness, of happiness after challenges, things starting to grow now and of recovery so if you have had some health challenges this is a sign that you are now starting to recover you're starting to feel like yourself you're even better than 
that what you have done in the past, you're starting to feel, feel life within, something staring within. And for underneath the sun, asking for a message for underneath the sun. As the sun, what message is the sun bringing through? This is the scythe now, cutting away at everything from the lower vibration. Cutting away from all that no longer serves us. And the base of the pack is finances. So this is letting go of limiting beliefs. We have the sun shining down. So the sun shining in our heart center. We've had a lot of loss, grief. And any remnants of that could be just going out there, creating the experience. So this comes in now and cuts because we've done the work, the light, the sun is shining in there, cleansing and clearing and dissolving and opening us up to beautiful abundance and protection. I always feel like Angel Michael with this card coming in, reminding us that we are always protected. To let go of worry, to let go of fear, to trust and feel now Archangel Michael surround you with his powerful protection, with his strength, with his light, guiding us all on our path knowing that we're safe now, trusting that our prayers are, have been heard and are being answered and stepping in to those prayers, our beautiful intentions. And if it's not of our intentions, don't put our focus there, knowing that we are protected. So wonderful, wonderful cards for today. So we have 10. 19, 20, 21, 3, 20, 21, 31, 40. So we have the angelics around us, the angelic kingdom around us, guiding us every step. Archangels around us constantly and all we have to do is ask and I know we always do but sometimes we may forget and they're just reminding us nothing's too small even first thing in the morning asking for a, a, a nice day that flows with grace and watch how our day manifests. Asking for a, a, a day filled with joy and see how many times we laugh in that day where we have a real good giggle during that day. So asking now and trusting and stepping into faith. If we ask and then we start worrying, we have took our faith away, we've took the energy away. So when we ask, we let go and don't think about it again. And then just have the wonderful day. So wonderful day, reading for today there is, we'll carry on through the week, the first reading of the week. Normally it resonates through the week, so we're in for a really good energizing time, the time of magical love and romance and finances. So focus on being abundant, not a fear of lack. So sending so much love. Have a wonderful, wonderful day and thank you so much for listening. God bless. Thank you.